In this video I will paint a super flowish style that is based on this beauty from two weeks ago and I'll lead you through a lot of helpful tips and tricks about how I improve my letters. Okay, hello friends and followers and welcome back to a new episode of the One Day series. My name is Smo, I'm a German graffiti artist and today we want to paint um, on this super nice long wall. I will show it real quick to you first so that you get an idea what sort of graffiti we got here. This one obviously is from me and it's crossed and I think I will go over this one today. This one is from Crow and I will get a visitor today. Kier uh, will visit me today as well. So uh, Kier, <laughs> this is so weird. Why did somebody paint with chrome? Yeah, I think we will uh, cover this wall today. So uh, the Laser Cats wall from Kayo from 2017 will still stay here. Then we got the unicorn wall from me as well. This one is from Mr. C when he was visiting me uh, last year. And this is uh, the 100K graffiti. It also is a little bit crossed like you can see over there. And somebody was um, painting in there with a marker. But my big plan for this year is to paint all my walls that I got in uh, my hometown. And if you got ugly walls like this in your hometown that just needs a little bit of fresh color and your talent to transform it into an insane artwork, I highly recommend you to check out my website monova.de. There is the download section and you can find the street art permit approval text already translated in 10 different languages. Cool. I'm happy. Happy, happy. Because I want to add a thick layer of bucket paint to this wall as the primer, um, I will use the paint roller and of course a carpet to protect the floor so that nobody can say at the end, oh, these graffiti dudes are making everything dirty. No, this doesn't have to be like that. I also use the bucket paint to fill all the tiny gaps clean the floor and my part of the wall is prepared when suddenly the other writers arrived <laughs> crazy the last yeah. time that we all three painted together is already two years ago a funny video where i explain the pattern background um, but i messed up my whole piece this won't happen this time because I'm still working on this mutation method thing. Which means that I don't even try to paint very different in comparison to the last piece to prove that I can paint different letters or whatever. I try to paint exactly the same piece but always a little bit better than the last time. And it all began six weeks ago with this beautiful sketch on paper where I painted the name Sino. And I was so happy with the S and the E that I took the Sino sketch and made a small sketch out of it. That was the sketch that I used for the Mato Anomalies wall, uh, I think three weeks ago or something. But when I came back home, I was not that happy with the O, so I turned it around and I painted the exact same sketch a third time and painted this sketch to the wall. But I was so happy with the changes that happened after three sketches and two walls that I thought I want to try it a third time on the wall 
Of course I will add all the 3D effects and so on, but I have to admit that I'm really looking forward to paint the exact same letters the third time on a wall now, because these tiny changes that just happen, they're making perfection. And it is... I don't know why I was forcing myself all the years to always try to prove that I can find new solutions, new solutions, new solutions for the letters, even if so many people are telling me that I'm always painting the same. I'm not, I was not painting the same if you look closely, but now I'm painting the same and it looks so different. It is so funny. But even more funny is that I can recycle this footage to lead you through the first lines. This graffiti says my name. Smo. S. M. O. E. Flowing letters inspired from calligraphy but based on a pretty easy and readable composition of strokes that form the letters. To make it a little bit more funky, all letters get just a few extra elements. That's basically it. And now we can start doing the fill-in. I have no idea where this will lead to, but it is not that long ago when I said that I would not allow myself to paint exactly the same piece several times. But now I do it, and it is such a joy to focus on improvement instead of variations. And I think this is what the mutation method is all about. Allowing the piece to improve by itself just through the natural mutation that happens while painting it. I think this is this is super interesting, I don't know. Oh, and by the way, at the beginning of this year I uh, was sorting my can storage and I've put all the cans out of my storage that are older than uh, 2020, but I use only cans at this piece that are older than 2020 and there I found some cans in my can storage that were even from 2011. <laughs> and the next can that I try to use right now, I think it is from 2012 or something. If you want to know um, how to find out how old your spray can is, just check the bottom of the spray can. There is a code on it and it says the production date and the expiring okay. date. And um, especially when spray cans are 10 years old and you never shake them and they're just standing in your storage, the um, valve likes to clock so there is no other solution. <laughs> than to release the paint in a different way. I mean, at least there was still pressure on the spray can, but goodbye to the beautiful first lines. But there was no other way to get the, the um, paint out of the spray can anymore. But all other cans worked properly. And like you can see in the left corner, I always put the names of the colors that I'm recently using. And the red cap is always this white flat calligraphy cap. The green one that I use is always the skinny cap, the level one skinny cap. It's not that complicated, but I try to give you as much info as possible. And then there was this pigeon. But this wasn't a German pigeon. It was not able to understand me. Oh, but now while I'm doing these beautiful outlines, I will be quiet. So lean back and enjoy.
It is always a magical moment to me when the whole wall is filled with fresh new color and I can just add new details here and there. And um, I do these super thin lines with the tiny pink stencil cap. You will find a coupon code for it <laughs> in my uh, video description if you want to make very thin lines. <laughs> I mean, the real gangsters, they can make thin lines like that with a fat cap as well. I can't do this. My gangster qualification is not that good. And to add a shadow within the fill-in, I always use a darker shade of the color that I was using at the point. So when I make a green shadow, I use a darker green. And finally, I add reflections. Reflections to the blocks. <laughs> yeah. The light source for all my reflections is, um, the imaginary light source, is on the upper left corner. So there's always light shining from the upper left downwards to the bottom right side. And of course, the shadow is casting over the tiny blocks within the fill-in. So all blocks and all outlines that are facing upwards and facing to the left side are um, getting some lighter values of the color that I was using, using there. And uh, funny is that suddenly the outline on the shadow side gets visible that never was there. And I make the reflections always with two colors, a lighter brown and an even lighter, I think it's even an orange. If you want to see the whole process of uh, adding light and shadow to a piece, um, I can recommend you to see the last week's video um, where I recorded the whole process. It is, <laughs> it is just six and a half hours long, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a very, very three-dimensional piece that I painted. But it's not as cool as this one. This one is even better. It's the best piece that I've painted. And uh, this is one of the motivations that I always have while painting. I always try to paint the best piece ever. I mean, at least from my subjective um, opinion. As the block is going to the left side, um, my golden rule is holes are dark at the end. <laughs> so I add some black always at the end of the blocks. So all the holes get black to the left side. I would have loved to use some dark brown instead of black, but I can only use the colors that I have with me, so there was no dark brown, so I had to use black. I mean, the contrast is a tiny bit too high in my opinion, but this is perfect because I can make this better in the next piece. Yo, and now it's time for the background. I do the snow smoke. 
uh, in blue. And of course, the blue gets darker everywhere where the cast shadow of the piece already is on the wall. Many people ask me if I was using transparent colors to get this effect, but I didn't do so. It's just two different shades of blue. When suddenly a visitor, another visitor arrived. Who's that dude with the motorcycle? Moot Nikki! Moot Nikki! Hello, Mr. Nikki. I mean, I'm always happy when friends are meeting me at the wall. Nice. Of course, then yeah, no, we I'm have some private talk and so on. I shut off the camera and I told Nick, please Nick, can you please remind me that I have to start the camera? And he said, yes, of course, no problem. I know the struggle. And when I wanted to start painting again, I asked Nick, is the camera running? And all that I have is this stupid photo. Man, for fuck's sake, I told you 20 times the people want to see how you paint the blinkies. You need to double check your camera. This is not my fault, man. But I asked you if the camera is running and it was not running. I lost 15 minutes. Doc, what do you say? Nah, it is definitely Nick's fault. And T, what do you say? Hey, are you kidding me? Of course it's Nick's fault. So, Nick, it is your fault that we don't got the footage of the blinkies and my broken halo and the pink reflections. But nevertheless, I uh, continued with some designs within the fill-in, just some gray stripes. Um, of course, I added um, some stickers for the crews and also Nick Moody will get an own sticker. And of course, the Smonova sticker. Um, it is not allowed that this one is missing. It's also in my sticker pack that still is available in my shop. So please check out smonova.de if you want to support my channel a tiny little bit. Um, still about the half of all sticker packs are available. So thanks a lot for your support. smonova.de. We ship worldwide. Yo. And as we are doing the last final details and we are close to reveal the final result, I want to use this moment to say a big thanks to my supporters on Patreon, who have seen this video some days earlier than everyone else. <laughs> thanks a lot, my beloved Happy Gang. You're the greatest. Okay, I know that you want to see it. This is the final result. This was a nice uh, five hours painting session with my friends Kia and Star. A big thanks 
to Montana Cans for supporting my YouTube channel with a lot of dope free spray cans. I hope that you were a little bit entertained. Please don't forget to like the subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next project. This is not my fault, man. <laughs>